Hi, I'm Kristen Sanchez is Wednesday, January 6th, and here are the six things to know. Miami-Dade County officials are working to convert local testing sites into vaccination sites, all in hopes of vaccinating more than half of older residents by the end of this month. This comes as all 12,000 appointment slots at Jackson Health System were booked within two hours yesterday. So far, more than 30,000 people have been vaccinated in Miami-Dade. There's growing frustration among Broward residents trying to make an appointment for the COVID vaccine. Some say that they went through the process of scheduling an appointment through the Department of Health website only to be turned away at the vaccination site. The Department of Health is asking for patients from the public and say that those people who had appointments will get a phone call or an email. NBC News projects Democrat Raphael Warnock as one as the winner of one of the critical Senate runoff elections in Georgia. He'll become the first black senator from Georgia and the only 11th black senator in American history. The race between David Perdue and John Ossoff still too close to call this morning. That race will decide which party controls the Senate. Today, the House and Senate will meet in a joint session of Congress to count the electoral votes and officially declare the result of the 2020 presidential election. Today's session has taken on added importance as dozens of Republican lawmakers are set to object Joe Biden's victory. This would force votes in the Republican run Senate and the Democratic controlled House that will almost certainly fail. The latest relief package offers an extension of federal unemployment benefits for Floridians who lost their jobs, but NBC6 Response continues to hear from folks who are still waiting for benefits from the first stimulus package. One man says he applied for state unemployment benefits in March, but was deemed ineligible. To see how NBC6 Response helped him and others get thousands of dollars in needed benefits, search NBC6 Response on the NBC6 website. Okay, so let's see how the semi-official low temperatures are looking this morning. Sometimes when everything shakes out, these adjust a little bit. This will be close to uh, the truth, though, for this morning. 49, so we actually did make it just below 50 here in Kendall. 49 degrees right at 50 Pompano Beach. Look at Miami. We actually made it down to 52 degrees. Yeah, chilliest era of 2021. Sounds dramatic, but we were actually about this cool on December 27th of last year, but you get the idea. Definitely a cool morning, uh, but with the winds on the light side, it's going to feel great today. Highs around 73, average high 76. And Kristen, we continue to warm up between now and Friday up to 77, but that's the next front that hits right back to lows and low 50s. High struggling to get out of the 60s, but with a lot of sunshine this weekend. All right, Adam, thank you. Those are your six things that you need to know for today. You can always follow all these stories. I'm going to check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube.